everyone. How are you on this fine day? Hadron. Good morning, Good morning, Mamguasa. Good morning, classmates. I am glad to see you well. Good morning, Mamguasa. Good morning, classmates. I am glad to see you well. I am glad to see you too. Is the prayer leader ready? Yes, ma'am. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord as we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, the Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for the ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen to our teacher. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Miss Fantanyal. You may all sit down. All right. Is anyone absent today? Conde? Present, ma'am. Cruz? Present, ma'am. Daklan? Present, ma'am. Descartin? Present, ma'am. Desquitado? Present, ma'am. Fantonial? Present, ma'am. And Fuentes? Present, ma'am. All right. So there are no students absent today. Very good. For our opening activity, we will be playing a game called Four Picks One Word, which is a guessing game. So I will present four pictures and you are tasked to guess what specific word fits with the theme of the pictures being presented. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, so this is number one. If you'd like to answer, just please raise your hand. Yes, Justin. I can see fossils in the picture, ma'am. Let's see. You're correct. The answer for number one is fossils. Now let's proceed to number two. Anyone? Yes, Jeffrey. I think the answer is mountain range, ma'am. Very good, Jeffrey. For the last number, who would like to answer? Yes, LJ, you're raising your hand. I think the answer is jigsaw, ma'am. Okay, let's find out. The answer for number three is jigsaw. Very good, LJ. So that concludes our introductory activity. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions. You are familiar with most of the terms in the game. Where have you seen these words? Yes, Justin. Familiar ko sa fossil ug sa kanam sa jigsaw kay gipadon man pa grade 8 or grade 9. I see. Among the words being asked, which one was the most difficult to figure out? Why? Nina? I think it was hard to guess the word mountain range man. Aside from it is a compound word the term is quite new to me. Thank you. So how are you able to figure out the words? Jeffrey? Um, Kwan ma'am, by analyzing the pictures, like what, what are their common features? Okay. So why is it important to have multiple pictures in one word? Aljane? I think it is more fun to compare four pictures and finding their similarities, and it was challenging also. Moreover, the more pictures there are, the easier it is to find the similarities in the word ask. Precisely. Very good. Now, I would like to show you something. Any idea what this could be?
How about if I rotate it like this? Mavel? It is like a continent of some sort, ma'am. Maybe Africa. That doesn't look like Africa, girl. Um, more like Australia, ma'am. Good! Nice! It is a continent, but it is not Africa nor Australia. Now let me add some colors. What you're seeing here is actually the grandfather of the continents, Pangaea. It was proposed that millions of years ago, there was only one single proto-continent and in time broke down into what we are familiar with. Let me show you how it supposedly happened. Mom, who thought of all of those things? Good question! This is all thanks to a German meteorologist and geophysicist who first noticed a particular pattern on the world map. Let's watch this. Be sure to lower your voice listen, and take down notes. You could also share your notes to your classmates to better what you've already written. Yes, ma'am. Alfred Wegener proposed a theory in 1912 that the great continents of the Earth had drifted over geological time and were once all joined together in a giant land mass we now call Pangaea. His idea was based on the way the present continents fit neatly together, and by the way bands of fossil-bearing rocks join up across continents like this. Unfortunately, Wegener was unable to provide a mechanism for this movement, and his theory was ridiculed by the scientific community until 1965, when the theory of plate tectonics was published. This proposed that the continents were moved around on great plates driven by convection currents in the hot mantle of the Earth. For details, see our related video. Perhaps the most dramatic evidence came from the magnetism of rocks each side of the mid-ocean ridges. When rocks solidify, they become weakly magnetic in the direction of the Earth's magnetic field. However, every few million years, the Earth's magnetic field flips, so the North Magnetic Pole becomes South Pole and vice versa. And this change is signalled in the rocks. Scientists found that the rocks each side of the mid-ocean ridge were magnetised first in one direction and then in another, like this. Magma solidifies, locking in the magnetism. New magma forms as the plates move apart. The magnetic field reverses. More magma solidifies, locking in the reversed polarity, and so on, creating a pattern that repeats each side of the ridge, with the rocks getting older the further you are from the ridge. Clear evidence of the ocean moving apart over millions of years. Further evidence came from plotting where Earth's volcanoes and earthquakes were situated. From this map you can see that they form lines around the globe marking out the edges of the great tectonic plates. You get almost all earthquakes and volcanoes at plate boundaries. And finally, we find the great mountain ranges right alongside where two plates are pushing into each other. The Himalaya are being thrust upwards as India moved and is still moving slowly into Asia and as the Pacific plate is subducted under the Asian plate, the islands of Japan, with many earthquakes and volcanoes, and the deep ocean trench to the east were formed and are still being formed. Now, I will be 
giving these activity sheets to your mayor and mayor, please distribute these to the class. Yes, ma'am. You will be making a concept map about the continental drift theory and its evidence in this activity. Column one. One, two, three. One. Lamar. Go. All right, everyone, please pass your papers forward and front seaters hand in the papers to the mayor. Thanks, mayor. At this time, I wanted to pick a partner because we are going to do a think, pair, and share activity to assess your understanding of the lesson. I will give you 10 minutes to discuss and answer the questions with your partners, and afterwards, I'm going to ask for volunteers to share their answers to the class. You may start now. And also the ourselves. Time is up, everyone. For number one, who would like to share their answers to the class? Yes, Jeffrey and Justin. In in Wegener's time, what did most people in people believe about the continents? So this is me and my partner's answers. Answer for number one, ma'am. Before, they thought that the mountains were created because our planet was cooling and shrinking and that there were ancient land bridges to explain the location of the fossils. Thank you, Jeffrey and Justin. Let's proceed to number two. Yes, Mavel and Gwine. Our answer for number two, ma'am, is that Alfred Wegener collected diverse pieces of evidence to support his theory, including the geological feet. It is the matching of large-scale geological features in different continents. He figured that the coastlines of South America and West Africa seem to match up and look like they fit together perfectly. Very good, Mabel and Gwine. Now let's go to the last number. Yes, Nina and April. Uh, this is our answer. For number three book, Wigener was ridiculed because it looked like he was distorting the continents to make them fit. And worse, he could not explain how these large land masses could move. Very good, everyone. Exactly. I'm glad that you learned something today and understood the concept of the continental drift theory. Next meeting, we are going to explore plate tectonics, which is the key to answering beginner's theory. Everyone, be sure to study in advance with the guide questions here. it for today class let us have our dismissal prayer prayer leader let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the lord as we say in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen as we go on our way 
We hope that you will continue to guide us and help us be better students. And for our teacher to continue to share her knowledge and experiences for the sake of our future. Bless us, O Lord, with your mercy and wisdom. We thank you for everything. Be with us always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, class. Hadron. Goodbye. Goodbye. And, thank and thank you, Miss Guasa. Mabuhay. Goodbye. Thank you, Miss Guasa. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Mabuhay.